OK, in this tutorial, I'm going to look at creating some drawing sheets for the Sterling engine. So to begin from scratch, I'm going to go new. We're going to go with A4 landscape third angle and click OK. This opens up a drawing sheet where we can bring in some model views. But I'm going to hit the cancel here by clicking the red X. And so here we have our first sheet. Now, one thing that's useful here is to copy a sheet and most of the sheets bar sheet four are all the same, A4 landscape. So one way to do this is to control drag the sheet here on the tab at the bottom and it copies the sheet. Now it might be, and you can keep doing that. So. So if we look now here, we have sheet three of three, sheet one of three. So now we have three sheets um, in our single drawing file. Now, what I recommend is that you rename these. So if I right click on the name there, I can name it. So the first sheet is ISO views. Our second sheet is the assembly auto views. These don't have to match exactly, but, and you can reorder these. You don't have to create them in the exact order. We can drag sheets up and down and we'll show you this. So as I name the sheets here on the tab, they are named up here on the side as well in the feature manager. Another way to name the sheets is to two slow clicks there on the sheet name and we can rename it from here. So the third sheet is assembly section views. So now we have three sheets and if it hasn't cut up down here, if you do a control Q to rebuild, it now updates. So sheet one, sheet two and sheet three. But you can reorder these sheets later on if you wish. So to create another sheet, just control drag it. Now you've duplicated that sheet. Give it a new name. And so I'll skip on to, which will be sheet five when we're finished, which will be the power Conrad assembly. So. As you rename the sheets, this updates here in the title block. So it hasn't updated, do control Q. So in this case, maybe the text has spilling out there. So you can go in to the background there, edit sheet format. If you double click on this text here, and maybe you can reduce the size of it, say to two mil. So it's going to fit in there. And now back to our sheet again. So right click, edit sheet, that'll take you back to your drawing sheet. Okay, another way to reorder these sheets is just drag them up and down like here. So now ISO views is now the fourth sheet. And let's just drag that back up there and drop it in there after annotations. So let's drop it in there, move this from below it. Okay, so there's our ice four sheets and they're all A4. So it's pretty easy to duplicate sheets like that. Okay, let's bring in some drawing views here. So the best way probably to bring in your drawing views is to go to the view palette here on the right hand side on the task pane. So let's click view palette. Now it's currently emptied because we haven't opened any assembly. And if you go up here, click the drop down, there's nothing available. But if you click here on the button here with the three dots, you can browse to a part or an assembly. So let's go and select our Sterling engine and click open. So when you do that, then the views appear here on the underneath it. 
and you can take any of these views and drag them in. So here's an isometric view, which is the standard isometric view, and you can drop that in there and just place it anywhere on the drawing sheet. Now when you bring in a view like this, uh, the first time you bring it in, you've got all these icons here for the um, origin icons. So the first thing we'll do is turn those off. So if you go to hide show here and turn off the origins, it tidies it up a little bit. All the drawing views are set up to have center lines uh, in when they come in automatically. Now you don't really need these on the pictorial views, you do need them on the orthographic. So I'm just going to delete them out of this view here. And I'm going to turn on the shaded view of our object there. Now this is the exploded configuration, but in this case the default will do. So we can change the configuration here. We're going to use the sheet scale here. So we're going to set the sheet scale and that'll control all the views on this sheet if they're all set to sheet scale. We can set the scale of an individual view to a custom scale if we need to do that. Now, if I want to bring in an isometric view uh, that we haven't created already, you could click here on the view and open up our assembly directly from the view. So here's our assembly opened up. Now, suppose I want a different isometric view than the one that's there by default. And if you want to create some additional isometric views, one way is to press the spacebar and using the cube here, and this is called our view selector. All right, so if it's not active, you can activate it. So using the cube here, I can create another isometric view. And if you press the spacebar, you can save this view by going up here and add as a new view. So I'll save this and I'll just call it ISO front right. Okay. And press the space bar on the view selector again. If I want to view from the back, so say I want a view like this one here, or if you want a view from, so select the view you want, and again, pressing the space bar. Now you can pin this if you wish here, but click new view, and I'll call this ISO back, for example. And click the view selector again and if you want to get a view from underneath uh, like so or maybe let's go around and get one from the front and so here's an ISO below so again press the space bar new view and I'll just call this ISO below and we click OK Now when you go back to your drawing view, so control tab will take you back to the drawing view. So here's our drawing view and we haven't saved this yet. So if you go back to the view palette, you'll see that it tells you that the view palette is out of date. And so click refresh to bring back those views that you had previously, plus the new views. So if you look here, You'll see the ISO below view that we just created and show that as shaded with edges. Let's bring in the ISO from the back. So here's our ISO front right. You can drop that in there and again showed in shaded mode. So you want to delete center lines, let's grab them and delete them. I'm going to show shaded with edges. So here we have four different views of our Sterling engine. So we can change the scale of all the views on the sheet by going to the properties of the sheet. So if I set the scale of the sheet to one as the two, and click apply changes, all the views update 
And now we can move these around and position them on the sheet. Now you're not going to get all four views in at a scale of one is the two. So you can take one of these views here. Let's take the lower, this one here. So you, to move the view around, you have to click on the border and drag it around. And so what I'm going to do with this particular view is I'm going to give it a custom scale. And I'm going to do that by going in here and maybe I'll make this one one is to 2.5 and click OK. So that's our isometric and that is sheet one completed. And let's save our drawing now. So I'll save this as Sterling Engine Project. So that's sheet one completed. Thank you.